Hey guys, there are so many amazing weapons in Outriders that it might be really hard to stick to just a few. To be clear, any class can make use of any weapon. However, each class has a weapon that best fits their style. Therefore, choosing a weapon to match your class is something you should consider whenever you are ready to go in combat. In addition to choosing a weapon, it's equally important to match the weapons with the variant that best fits your style of play. In this video, we're going to take a look at weapons variants, otherwise known as weapons configurations. My name is Wes and thank you so much for tuning into the channel. I really appreciate your being here. So if you can please hit that like button to help the channel out, I would be forever grateful. Anyway, when it comes to weapons variants, Outrise defined this as weapons gunplay style and affect its firing mode, i.e. single fire, burst fire, automatic fire, clip size, damage per second, recoil, spread level of zoom when aiming, etc, etc. This is straight from the game guys inside the game if you care to check it out. But all we care about is which weapons feel the best to us and which one can kill the enemies the fastest, right? To find that out we would have to try all weapons in the game which might be impossible to do because there are so many. The most important things you need to know is the types of weapons that exist in Outriders and this would somewhat narrow your search in my opinion. There are 4 categories of weapons in this game and they are Assault Weapons shotgun, sniper, and sidearm. Note that the assault weapon category includes assault rifles, light machine guns, and submachine guns. There are different types for each gun, but the only things that differentiate them are their stats. So think about ammo economy whenever you are equipping your weapons because if they belong to the same class, they share the ammo pool and you run the risk of running out of ammo. This means it's a good idea to vary your weapons choices unless you want to run around with a pistol forever because pistols have infinite ammo. Now we know there are 4 weapons classes but you only have 3 slots and the 3rd slot is only reserved for pistols and revolvers. This means you are free to equip all the other category of weapons in the primary and secondary slots. However though, you should try to avoid using double shotty or double assault if possible. Not that there is anything wrong with that but it's something to take into consideration. I myself like to use shotgun and light machine guns on my trickster but you do what you gotta do my friend. Having said all that, let's set the stage for the weapons variants and what might be the best for your class and playstyle. It's fair to assume that shotguns might be the most popular weapons in this game and the trickster class might be the most prevalent. Whether you agree or not it's okay but I'd like to assume you can agree that each class has a weapon that best fits their style. We can agree on that, right? For instance, Trickster and Devastator pair very well with shotguns, whereas Technomancers go well with long range weapons like sniper rifles, bolt action rifles, and regular rifles. For the mid range type of playstyle, Pyromancers pair really, really well with light machine guns, submachine guns, and assault rifles. Again, to be clear, that is not to say each class must stick with these weapons choices, because in the end, it's whatever works best for you, the player. From the beginning of the game, you're going to acquire a lot of diverse weapons to choose from no matter what class you start with. Some are going to feel good and some not so good and you're going to find weapons in the same category that act very differently. This is where you need to understand weapons variants. Do you like weapons that goes pew 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 or those that go tickety 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 and stuff like that? As I previously mentioned, the game defines weapons variant as their firing mode i.e. single fire, burst fire, automatic fire, clip size, damage per second, recoil, spread, level of zoom when aiming, etc, etc. That is true for every category of weapons. Now let's look at for instance shotguns and some of their variants. We have pump action and automatic shotguns. Automatic shotguns alone has two variants, slug and narrow. Pump action comes as standard variant and breech variant. One shoots faster than the other. Anyway, a side by side comparison between these two automatic shotguns on screen shows that the slug variant has. 20 in the magazine, 462 rounds per minute, that's the RPM, 3 seconds reload and 120% crit multiplier. Now for the narrow variant, we have 10 in the magazine, 240 round per minute, 2 seconds reload, and a whopping 139% crit multiplier. Yes, I skipped the damage number and you can also notice the firepower of each weapon on top. And by the way, crit multiplier is the amount of extra damage the weapons can do when you hit critical shots like a headshot on the enemy or whatever the crit spot might be. Each enemy is different. 
in the beginning you will most likely go with the weapons with the highest firepower but as you can see not all shotguns are created equal even in the same category so you might choose pump action shotgun over automatic shotgun but in reality it's whatever works best for you and whatever you believe can get the job done this goes the same way for the assault weapons category i don't want to go over all of them because i want to make this video as short as possible but if you want to check out some website to find a lot of this information a good source is the Outriders wiki page. I know people don't always trust wiki but they have some good info and plus you can bounce their information with what you see in game so you will be good to go. I will leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out but you can always bounce your information with what you see in game. Anyway guys I hope this information was helpful if it was please don't forget to leave a like comment share and subscribe i will be most appreciative thanks for watching see you guys later Remember to wash your hands Remember to wash